So I wanted to, to uh, kind of uh, still give some couple other functionalities before we get into the uh, uh, details of the protocol, just again to give a flavor of what's going on here. Um, so, for, so, so we did we did secure message transmission, right? Uh, just revealing the length of M to the simulator, um, and then uh, uh, so here's something else: the zero knowledge. So I kind of didn't go over it before, but just to give an idea, and no need to get into too deep. So, what's zero knowledge? So, so there's a functionality for two parties. There is a prover and a verifier. They both have a common input, X. And the prover has some secret uh, uh, value, W, it's called a witness. And it's supposed to convince the verifier uh, that, uh, uh, that it has such W, that uh, actually uh, stands in some relation. There is some relation of X and W that the relation is satisfied, like X and W together. And uh, so, uh, um, so the, uh, the prover has an X and a W. And it now in the functionality, it wants to prove to be uh, uh, the, uh, uh, that uh, uh, it has a W that sends the relation with X, but it doesn't want to reveal W to, to B. In fact, it doesn't want to reveal anything to B except for the fact that it has such a W, this one bit fact. Uh, so, uh, so how are we going to capture that? So uh, we are be saying, OK, so the functionality gets uh, uh, this tuple from the prover and uh, uh, the ideal service, and then it gives to the simulator, what does it give to the simulator? It has to tell the fact, but we're not trying to hide the fact that the interaction took place between A and B, and we're not trying to hide X, which is this common input which is public, and we don't try to hide the fact that uh, the relation that uh, uh, W is in the relation, that the prover has uh, a W which stands in the relation, Right, so uh, so it can leak this bit to uh, to the to the simulator, and then when the simulator returns okay, then it's going to output the uh, the value two to b. Okay, so what's going on here? It's a little bit like this uh, 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 authenticated uh, um, message transmission and the and the encryption or the secure message transmission. There is uh, some information being passed over the network from a to b, right? And, uh, and some information is kept secret and some information is being uh, revealed, right? And here the information that's being revealed is the fact that, in fact, uh, uh, the, the, that uh, the sender has such a W. Both the simulator and the receiver guess this fact. But uh, the rest of the information, which is the W itself or anything else, is being hidden, right? So in the ideal uh, 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 service, uh, you get exactly what you want, ideally, is from the knowledge. You get the, the receiver gets to know for sure that there is such a W, uh, and, the, uh, and the sender knows that this W is not revealed anywhere. Okay? So that's, uh, uh, that's zero knowledge. Uh, key exchange, you already talked about a little bit. So here, but here it is again. So you get uh, 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 input from B. From, uh, from A, again, the, the service gets from on, on the A channel. It gets uh, an input saying, I want to exchange a key with B. Uh, and uh, uh, what it's going to do, it's going to, when it gets such a thing from A, it goes, the, 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 uh, the service is going to choose a key randomly and, and tell the simulator that, uh, it doesn't tell the key, but it tells the simulator that, look, A wanted to exchange a, B, a key with B. Because it doesn't hide the fact that this key was exchanged. Okay, and when it gets uh, 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 the corresponding one from A, from A uh, that actually you want, sorry, it's, uh, sorry, uh, this is supposed to be the other way around. So you get it from B that it, that, it, that it wants to exchange a key with A, that's a uh, typo. Then you're gonna leak the opposite to, uh, to, to, uh, to the simulator. The other simulator knows that both parties want to exchange a key with each other. Uh, and then when the simulator uh, it returns uh, okay, it's okay to output the key to A or to B, then you output the key to the corresponding party. So, if, you know, according in whatever order that the simulator chooses. Maybe just to one and not to both, because we, we don't want to have to guarantee this in the, in the, in the uh, protocol, in the implementation. We just want to guarantee the fact that the both guys agree on a key, but get the same key and the key is secret. Okay? And similarly, can they, we don't want to guarantee that actually happens. Um, also before, all the functionalities before, we did never guarantee that 
actually somebody gets an output. Uh, we, we allow protocols that do, do nothing, for instance. Okay? But if something happens, it happens in, in the right way. <laughs>